What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. Okay, so this is the last topic for our Revit Mechanical Certification Review. So this topic is about, still on collaboration, so I'm going to show you how to transfer project standards. So you are going to learn how to transfer settings and system family types between projects and templates. Okay, so we're going to transfer settings and types to other projects and then we're going to copy and paste uh, system family types. Okay, alright, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new project. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project because in real world, oftentimes settings and system family types need to be copied between projects or project templates. Now, remember, system family types cannot be created, okay? So you cannot use the load tool, like for example, uh, you go to insert tab. So you cannot use the load family for system family. So we use the load family tool for loadable family or component family but for system family you can't do that so what we can do is we can copy and paste the system family to another project okay to start the exercise i'm going to create a new project so let me just select here new okay and then i'm going to create a new project here so let's say i'm going to create a mep project Okay, so MEP template, so I select that one, so new project, and then after that, I'm going to select OK. All right, so that's how you create a new project. Now, to transfer settings and system family types, so we are going to switch to manage ribbon. So this is, remember, this is my new project, so this is project one. And then I also have here another open project, which is named our topic, transfer project standard. So you just think, up it like this is your project A, your project 1, and then the other one is project B, the transfer project standards project. So let me just go to my project A or project 1. To transfer settings and system family types, so we are going to select the transfer project standard. So where is this? So you just need to go to manage. Okay, and then after that, here on our settings, you can find here your transfer project standard. So this is the icon. Okay, so if your monitor is wide, you should be able to see the name here, the transfer project standard. So I'm going to select this. Okay, and then after that, here on our select items to copy, copy from, so we are going to select our... Uh, <clears throat> transfer project standard okay so this one so i want to copy a settings from our transfer project standards project to my new project to my project one okay so basically i want to copy some settings here on my trad uh, transfer project standards and then i want that to copy here on my new project okay so I'm going to select transfer project standards and then make sure you select here the project that you would like to copy from. And then here on our categories, I'm going to select here check none. I do not want to copy all the categories here. So I'm going to select check none. So it will uncheck all the check here, check categories. So what I want to copy here is the settings for the doc. So I want the doc settings, all right? I want the doc settings from this project to be copied here on my on my project one. So doc settings, I also want to copy uh, pipe settings. And then I also want to copy pipe types and then the piping system types, okay? And then after that, I'm just going to select here, okay? Alright, so when transferring project standards, so you'll be able to see this one as well. So duplicate types dialog will likely appear. So all you have to do is to select OK to proceed. Alright, so let's just select OK. 
Alright, so you can see here the following types already exist in the destination project but are different. Okay, now for this one, when types already exist in the destination project on our uh, project 1, there will be options to override or copy only. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to override the settings of my project 1. Okay, so override. And then you should be able to see here maybe another warning. So warnings may appear uh, stating that types have been renamed, which is this one. All right. So don't worry. You just need to close that one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select now the project browser here to check if the settings have been transferred. So I'm going to move the slider down and then look for families. I'm going to expand the families. Okay. And then um, let me check here my pipe fittings. So let me check the pipe fittings. This one. Okay, so this is now the settings that I have copied. So I now have here the band PVC, my cup generic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this. So let me undo the transfer project standards. Okay, so as you can see here on my pipe fittings, so there is no uh, band PVC, right? And then there's no uh, cup generic. So what I want to do, I want to copy it here on this project. Okay, so that's why we use transfer project standard. So you see, I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select that, check none. So I want to copy the, remember, uh, duct settings, uh, pipe settings. Okay, so what else? Uh, piping system type. And I also want to copy the pipe types. That's it. I'll select here, OK. There's a dialog box. Just select OK. And then another dialog box. Select override. And then after that, there's a warning. So that's fine. And then look what will happen here. So it will gonna it will be transferred now here on our... There you go. So it's now transferred. Okay? So that's how you do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back. So this is how you transfer your settings, right? So it's very simple. You just need to select... You just need to select transfer project standards and then it will now be transferred here on your new project. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to the exercise file, this one. So this is our exercise file, right? So what I want to do is um, I'm going to select a duct. So let's say, for example, this duct here. Okay, so this is the duct. So let's check the settings. So it says here, round duct, tap, short ray juice. Okay, so I want to copy this type of duct to my uh, new project. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to select here copy to clipboard or you just simply control C. Okay, control C. All right, and then after that, I'm going back to my uh, new project. All right, and then after that, I'm now going to paste it here. So I'm going to press a uh, control V on my keyboard or I'll just go to modify and then I can select here, paste from clipboard. Click that one. And then I'll just select here, OK. That's fine. And there you go. So I'm just going to place it here. And then I'll just select here, uh, finish. OK, so this is how you transfer a system family to your new project. Because like what I have said earlier, your system family cannot be loaded like using load family tool because load family tool is only for loadable family or component family. Now, if you have a particular system family that you would like to be copied in your new project, which is this one, you want to copy the settings, you can just use the copy and paste uh, technique that I have uh, shown you. So this process also works 
to copy system family types. So just be aware that the fitting types that make up the system family type will also be copied. Okay? So that's it for this uh, simple exercise about transferring project standards and system family types between projects and template. Okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.